Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad <coughs> wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd alhamdulillah a question was asked from one of our young sisters about making tawbah from shirk she was concerned about having fallen into shirk and wondering is it possible for her to make tawbah uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem inna allaha la yaghfiru an Verily, Allah forgives all that you do, but He does not forgive shirk is the meaning. In Allah, la yaghfiru an yushrika bi. He doesn't forgive that you commit shirk. Wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalik liman yasha. And He forgives other than that for uh, whosoever He pleases. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all sins except shirk. And the meaning of this ayah uh, is that this ayah clarifies for us that shirk, polytheism, in its various manifestations, if a person dies upon that, then they will not be forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If they die upon shirk, the major shirk that takes a person out of the fold of Islam, kufr, then they will not be forgiven by Allah Azza wa Jal. But what we also understand from this text, as well as many other nasuls, many other texts from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala forgives all sins as long as you make tawbah from your sins, as long as you repent to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as is mentioned in the hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal, Sama'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul, Wallahi inni liyastaghfir Allah wa atubu ilayhi fi yawm akthar min sab'een marra. Ruahu Bukhari. In this hadith in Sahih Bukhari, the hadith of Abi Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala an, the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, By Allah, I make istighfar to Allah and repent to Him every day more than 70 times. And in another hadith, the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mentioned, uh, Mi'ata uh, marra, meaning a hundred times. So it lets us know if the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, uh, makes toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with that level of frequency, or he made toba with that level of frequency, then we should be concerned about our status and make toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all of our sins. And seek forgiveness for all of our sins. So as far as the process of how we go about that, Imam Anawi outlines, as many of the ulama, many of the salaf, and there's many athar, but uh, these great ulama like Imam Anawi, they uh, compiled and made research into the aqwal of the salaf, into the statements of the salaf as salih Ridwanullahi alayhim, and the ulama, the, the prior uh, ulama, and through that, he deduced that there are three steps, if you will, or conditions for Toba. Three conditions for Toba. As long as you're talking about Toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and there will be a fourth condition for the one who has taken the rights of someone else. But we're going to concentrate on the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because this is pertinent to the question. And we know that the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioned in the hadith. Uh, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, Ya Mu'adh, when he was talking to Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and they were on a donkey together, he said, Ya Mu'adh, tadri ma haqallah al-ibadi wa ma haqal ibadi al-Allah. He said, O Mu'adh, do you know the right of Allah upon his servant and the right of the servant upon Allah? And he said, Allah wa rasulu wa'alam. He said, Allah and his messenger know best. He said the right of Allah upon a servant is that he 
worships him and him alone and does not associate any partners with him. So the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is tawheed, is that you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and not ascribe any partners with him by calling upon him and supplicating to him uh, by his divine names and attributes, by realizing and acknowledging his lordship and that he is your creator and he is your sustainer, and by devoting all worship strictly and solely to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's his right. So that means the one who is committed shirk in whatever form or fashion, that this is one type of violation of the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most important haq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Haq Allah ala ibadi, and ya'buduhu ala yushriku bi shayin. And the right of Allah upon his servant is that he worships him and him alone, and he doesn't associate any partners with him. So, with that being the case, if that's the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Toba, as Imam Manawi mentions, and we'll just read the statement of Imam Manawi, he says, Qad al -ulama, he says, the ulama say, so this is from his research in knowing the ulama, the fuqaha, and the scholars of Islam. He said, a tawbah to wajiba min kulli them. That tawbah is, uh, repentance, is a requirement for every sin, meaning every sin that you've done, you, you need to repent from. For in kanat al masiyatu bain al abdi wa bain Allah ta'ala la tata'allaku bi haq adami falaha Thalathatu shuroot. So Imam Anawi, he said, if the sin is between the servant and his Lord, you know, meaning it has to do uh, with Allah the Almighty, his right, and it doesn't have to do with the right of someone else, someone in the lost Spanish creation, meaning you didn't steal from someone or something like this, then the then there are three conditions. He said, first, ahaduha, and yukla'a an masiyah. He said the first uh, part of repentance, the first shart or condition of repentance is that you cease to do the sin. You stop doing it. So if you've committed shirk, you stop. No more shirk. Wathani an yandama ala fi'liha. So the second condition after you've stopped is that you feel sorrow for what you've done. And I think that's all also already the case if you are, have been crying and you've been feeling bad about some act of shirk you believe you committed, if, in really, if indeed you really committed shirk. A lot of times people have waswas -was, uh, and other things that affect them, but anyhow, we'll just uh, say, uh, stick with these conditions. So the second condition is that you feel uh, sorrow. Uh, and the third condition, وثالث, أن يعزم أن لا يعود إليها أبدا. So that you are determined to never return to that sin. Those are the three conditions of Toba. And if it has to do with the rights of someone else, then you should uh, strive to return that right. So for example, if you stole from someone, then you should uh, give back what you stole. To them, you know, and, and you know, right, return the object and, you know, apologize and so forth. So those are the uh, shuruta, toba, the conditions for toba for any sin, whether it be shirk or otherwise. And likewise, it's very important to seek forgiveness often as the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, did learn some of the prophetic du'as that are ways of seeking forgiveness from shirk. In one such dua, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this is an important dua to learn, you'll find it in Husna Muslim. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushrika bika wa ana a'lamu wa staghfiruka liman a'lamu. That basically what means, O oh Allah, uh, I seek forgiveness for any shirk I've done knowingly and unknowingly. So that means that you are you are uh, making seeking forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jalla, and this is a way that Allah will grant you that forgiveness.
for something even as severe as shirk. So yes, of course, you have uh, uh, hope with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, never abandon hope and seek forgiveness often. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala ali wa sahbihi wa sallam. And before closing, another important thing is the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wiki Tabi al Kareem in Surah Al uh, Nur. He says in verse 31, He says, Wa tubu ila Allahi jami'an ayyul mu'minun la'allukum tuflihun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And all of you Muslims, all of you believers, tubu ila Allahi jami'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands the believers, the Muslims, to all of us to make tawbah. All of us. You know, because we, we all have sins. We all have mistakes. Tubu lillahi jami'an. Ayyu al-mu'minun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing who? The mu'minun, the believers. And then what did he say? What did he subhanahu wa ta'ala say after that to let us know why this is important? La'allakum tuflihun. In order that you will have success. That you will be the successful ones. And may Allah grant, grant us success. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.